guys, it's Brenton here again. Uh, tonight I made some beef stew and I'm going to show you how to do that. Just uh, finish it up and this is what it looks like. So uh, please watch the video and you'll see how to make it from scratch. Get started with the ingredients. I have approximately four pounds of beef chuck roast here. Um, I recommend getting three to four pounds of beef. Um, this is the cut I like. I'm going to trim it a little bit and cut it into two inch cubes. Um, you could also buy uh, stew meat at the store. It might be a little bit more expensive that way. So it's just really up to you how you want to do it and uh, how much you want to trim it. For vegetables, I have celery, carrots, one parsnip, a large yellow onion, four cloves of garlic, and some mushrooms. For the spice, I just have uh, salt and pepper, and we're also going to use two dry bay leaves. We have some fresh thyme that we're going to cook with, and we have some fresh parsley we're going to add at the very end as a garnish. We're also going to use four cups of beef stock, a splash of Worcestershire sauce, a six ounce can of tomato paste. And I have these uh, Yukon Gold potatoes here I'm going to use. We're going to cook this um, starting on the stovetop in a Dutch oven, and then we'll move it over into uh, the oven to finish up. Okay, let's get started. So the first step you want to do is to prepare um, some of the ingredients by cutting them up. So over here I cut up the garlic and the vegetables. And I also cut up the chuck roast into um, approximately cube-shaped uh, pieces that are about one and a half inches um, in width and length. So just to give you a ballpark, this is, this is about the size you want. I trimmed out some of the fat, but I let a, left a little bit of fat on for flavor. Um, so it, don't be afraid to have larger size pieces of meat because it is going to shrink down as it cooks. All right, and so I'm going to start by searing the beef on the stove, and I'll show you that now. Okay, so I just added some oil to this Dutch oven and put it at a medium heat. What I'm going to do now is um, I added some pepper, and I'm going to add a little bit of the salt. I'm just eyeballing it. I usually don't add a lot of salt. I go heavier on the pepper. And I'm going to add um, about a quarter cup of um, all-purpose flour and mix that in. If you want, you can do more flour to um, to thicken it up, but I, I start with about a quarter cup with the uh, three to four pounds of beef. Okay, so the next step is I want to put each individual piece of beef in the Dutch oven. And what I want to do is I just want to sear it for a minute, a minute or two on each side. I don't want to cook it all the way through. I just want to sear each side. And so I, I do it in batches. I don't have to um, crowd the pan. Usually it takes about two to three batches. And um, once I'm done with it, I just I just take the beef out. So I have the completely raw over here, and then I'm going to put the uh, semi-cooked beef over in this um, in this little uh, bowl here. And then I'll get started with the veggies. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just finishing up this last batch of the beef and moving it over to this other bowl right here. And so I have some of those brown bits in the Dutch oven that we like. It's going to add flavor uh, to the veggies. So I'm just going to dump the veggies in with the leftover from the beef and the oil. It's quite a bit. So I have the um, mushrooms, onion, carrot, and parsnip. I, um, I left out the potatoes for now. We're going to do that a little bit later. And I also left out the garlic and I add that a little later. So I'll check back in with you in a few. Okay, so the veggies been in the um, Dutch oven for about 10 minutes, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the garlic and a little bit of tomato paste. So I got the tomato paste in there, and I'm going to mix it up with a wooden spoon, and I'm going to let that st uh, sit in there and mix in for about 5 minutes, and then I'm going to add in the, um, the uh, beef stock and some of the herbs. So now it's been a few more minutes. I'm just going to add in the thyme and two bay leaves. And four cups of beef stock. And what we're going to do is we're going to let it sit there for a few minutes so everything mixes in. Um, some of the flavor gets released from the herbs. And we're going to bring it to a simmer and then we're going to add the beef back in and add a little bit of um, Worcestershire sauce to it. Okay, so now that it's at a simmer, I'm going to add the beef right back into the Dutch oven. 
And I already um, just added a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, but I'm gonna add a little bit more to the beef. And what we're gonna do is just let that sit there for a few moments on the stove top. I'm gonna put the lid on just so everything, um, all the flavor is held in. And then I'm gonna transfer it to the oven. So in the meantime, you can preheat your oven to 275 and we're gonna do low and slow. Um, what we'll have to do is about an hour in to it um, being in the oven, we're gonna have to uh, take it out briefly and add in the potatoes, and that's gonna be one of, our, one of our final steps. Okay, so I just transferred the Dutch oven into the oven, and we're gonna let it stay in there at 275 for an hour, and then we'll add the potatoes in. So about an hour's gone by, and I just pulled the um, the stew out of the oven because I'm gonna add these Yukon gold potatoes. So I'm gonna add those in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mix those in, uh, put the lid back on, and I'm just gonna put it back in the oven. I'll keep it at 275 and let it cook for about another hour. And then I'll check on it then. So um, this should be the last step, and then we'll uh, check on it after another hour, make sure the potatoes are cooked through, and uh, it'll be ready to serve. So after about an hour, the stew finished, and this is our final product. I took it out of the oven and added some fresh parsley to it. I let it set for a bit so it would thicken up and it tasted really great. So I hope you guys enjoy and let me know what you think.